Yeah. Hi, you see this black book and you see it's gonna be serious because today I'm gonna I'm gonna open the book, yeah, sure, uh, because today I'm gonna talk about antennas. Again, antennas are one of my favorite topics and uh, every time, not not every time, but very often when you go into the internets, you will read that Oh, the first guy shipped me wrong antennas. This one shipped me wrong antennas and very smart person say that no 2.4 gigahertz antenna should be 30 how much 31.25 millimeters long because yeah and they shipped me wrong antenna wrong antenna wrong antenna um sorry dudes but what you are saying is bullshit you have no idea what you are talking about I have very little idea what I'm talking about, but I have some idea. Um, why? Let me show you why. I have a couple of antennas. For example, this thingy today here. The active part is 27.84. Next antenna, some kind of receiver. I'm not sure what the heck is this. This one is 28.7. This one another dipole. This one on the other hand is only 25.40 something. This one, uh, this one is interesting because this one is only 23 something. Next one, 2.4 uh, gigahertz antenna. This one is 27.8. And here we go into Eversky F4XSB and this one is 33 millimeters. So, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, as you see, the most antennas were closer to 27 millimeter than those 31, while the Eversky antenna was too long. So, really. Should it be this one or this one or what the fuck? The fuck. Let's start with simple things. Those antennas that we are working with are something called quarter wavelength monopoles. So this active part that's not sleeved or anything like that inside of the shielding has lambda slash 4. Lambda is the wavelength of the of the radio signal and uh, so we have something like this something the standing wave generated in the antenna lambda how much is lambda um for 2.4 gigahertz lambda is 31.25 millimeters great because this is c slash f c 300 thousand kilometers per second f is 2.4 gigahertz so in theory we have the antenna should have the length of 31.25 millimeters but longer shorter 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 what the hell we have two things uh, or actually three no we have two things to consider uh, first of all it's not true that inside of the wire, the wavelength, the electricity has the speed of C. The C is the speed of, uh, of light in void, but copper wire, the fuck, it's not void, it's copper wire. And here starts to play something called, uh, how it's called? The electric constant. It's constant, haha, uh -huh. the electric constant and VF, velocity factor. Velocity factor. If you want to read more about velocity factor and the electric constant, the link should be somewhere uh, below in the, in the description. Bottom line is electric signal, radio signal, or electricity that would be propagated by the antenna, tends to slow down in things. How much? It depends. If this is just a piece of copper wire, then it slows down by more or less 5%. This is 5%. So for the copper, oh, I've broke my favorite pen. Damn. 
Oh well, this one will go to copper. Next one. Um, copper wire is more or less 95% of the speed of light. Nice, nice. Inside of the clax cable, the same electric signal slows down to something like 60-70%. Why? Because the copper wire inside of the line has a shielding. The electric, co the, the electric constant is completely different, so the electricity slows down even more. If we take something like this and put um, some kind of... Uh, what's the name? Ha! Huh, I forgot. Um, insulation over this wire, the, the dielectric constant will change and the electric signal will even more slow down. This is why um, if we have an antenna with bare copper wire, then we have to take more or less 5% dielect uh, slowdown of the signal. If we go back into here and we have 31.25 millimeters, if we're gonna reduct 5% from this, we're gonna end up at more or less 29.7 millimeters. Closer to 28-27 we are observing, but still not close enough. Why? Because let's take a look again at this antenna. The active part is inside of the insulation, right? So the electric constant has changed again and we have to subtract even more. How much? More or less another 5%. Let me take something to compute something because I, I, I hate doing a stopper. No, not this one. Where's the calculator? Okay. If we're gonna subtract the next 5% from, from this thingy, then it's gonna... No. Whoa, what am I doing? And we... Come on, 29.7 uh, times 0.95. You see, from 29.7 we went down to 28.2. This is very close what we are observing over here. This one, after all, was... No, this one was... Too long? No, I was too long. 27.69. Not 31.25 like smart people on the internet are saying, but saying, but closer to the 27, 28 millimeter. But this is not all. Tada! This is another fantastic thing because all the radio receivers and transmitter we are using for over here are using something that's called frequency hopping. It's not one fixed frequency somewhere for example 2.4. No, 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 they are hopping from 2.4 to more or less 2.5 gigahertz. So those antennas are indeed tuned to more or less 2.45 gigahertz. If we're gonna do the same math again for 20... 2.20... Well, you know how much. Uh, let's do the math. Uh, speed of light? 3 millions meters per second divided by 2.5 uh -uh. so this is like this in meters times thousand oh i think i fucked up something um okay no now now it makes sense uh times 100 now it makes sense okay i i messed up few zeros this is wavelength for 2.45 gigahertz. Let's divide it by 4. So we are in the big... Ah, what have I... Damn! Let's do the math again. Times 1000, so we are at millimeters. Divide by 4, so we... One zero again. Never mind. Speed of light for the 2.45 is only 30... 0.6 no quarter wavelength what am i saying quarter wavelength it's only 30.6 now uh, if we go now 30.6 times 95 so we are at the 
where copper wire velocity factor is more or less 29.7 and now once again we take up 5% for the installation times 0 0.45 27.6 millimeter for a regular antenna just the antenna you might expect somewhere the length should be about 27.6 millimeters coincidence this one is even shorter uh -huh, interesting this one is yeah like this like this like this but 27 28 millimeters is indeed not the end of the story because if you have an antenna and you somewhere in a feed line uh, somewhere in the antenna itself you're gonna add some inductance inductance yes inductance the speed of electric signal will be slowed again yes it will be slow the antenna will be resonant even when it's shorter even shorter when you add some capacitance then the antenna will have to be slightly longer. There are really, really, really many factors that can affect the length of the antenna itself. It's not only the frequency, it's also the material of the antenna, it's uh, the characteristic of the feed line, is there extra impedance, is there extra impedance, in inductance, never mind. Extra capacitance, you never really know. It has to be tuned exactly for what we are dealing with it. And saying that 31.25 millimeters is the proper length of antenna, no, you have absolutely no idea what's happening. I assume that people who are making receivers and transmitters for our RC link really know more about this stuff than the average guy on the internet. Yeah. But I have cool tools. I showed this to you once, once or twice already. So I will prove it to you.